Harunamuri, Shuiko, Atarashi Gako, Kacharak Spin, Devaloof, Dim Lim, Unlucky Morpheus, Nemophilia, Deaf Neon, Band Made, A Crowd of Rebellion, Broken by the Scream, Gakriel Terror, Anya the End, Asaki, Namako Puri, OGs like Le Aken Ciel, Durin Gray, Duas Infinity, Sukizo, The Flare, Judy and Mary, Miyavi, Malice Miser, J-Rock, and Pop is my soul. In this series, I love Bomb, my favorites. Do you remember the Victorian era? Yeah, you remember, you were there. Snag that aesthetic. Grab all the tone of speed power metal bands of our youth. Grab a literal queen from a Final Fantasy game. Stitch it into a dress like Daniel Day-Lewis here. Add a violin. And you have Unlucky Morpheus, a prog metal group of technical precision, classical music, and video game influence, armed with the expressive, emotive, and highly powerful vocalist of auditory heaven. Pookie. Formed as a cover band before making music for a video game, Unlucky Morpheus started with the leader, Sheeran, the lead guitarist, harsh vocalist, and composer of the band, Jinya on rhythm guitar and hair, Ogawa Hiroyuki on bass, Fumiya on drums, and the violinist is Jill. Jill kills. Eat your heart out, Ingve Malmsteen. And of course, Fuki. Tenge Fuyuki had numerous projects that I'm not even aware of. Fuki Commune with more anime and theme song style. Or the band Lightbringer. But I found her when she formed Cute Voltron, Doll's Box, along with Guitar Spin, this way through Megazord here. <laughs> Before joining Unlucky Morpheus and solo projects, she is known for her prominent and highly expressive vibrato that I personally love. In my opinion, she's the best vocalist of the J-Rock scene. She's also just... <sighs> she's very beautiful. Look at her gorgeous self. She is so divine. Put her in any fantasy and yeah, it makes sense. She always looks heavenly. And their music videos perfectly captures the look. This malice miser, Victorian gothic aesthetic, what a queen. You have Bloody Rain, a Fuki solo that might as well be unlucky Morpheus. Just Fuki vibing and feeling emotive and melancholic and beautiful and wonderful photography and just being aesthetically there. Their music videos use the highest 4K cameras with every filter known to man. Performative music videos, all style, no substance. But when you have Fuki as your vocalist, who cares? Get those James Cameron cameras and avatar the fuck out of Fuki already. Her and Jill make this band. 100%. Otherwise, they are any other standard, well-trained, and well-executed technical prog metal band. That's just me, though, because this style only captures me for certain songs anyways. And while I can't say I love every single song from Unlucky Morpheus, there's enough to where my Spotify was like, yo, you really freaking like this band, don't you? And I'm like, well, I guess so. Well, we've got Black Pentagram with this chorus. <laughs> We've got Knight of Sword, where Fuki looks like this, and then this, and then this. It's also a good song. She sings in English, but carry on singing to the sky, where she casually goes. You have the M Trilogy. Top of the M has this dope riff where the guitars and violin are playing in beautiful fighting game synchronicity. You get to hear what the other dude screams like. And remember that he does that. He just does that. It's fine because Fuki looking like this. Owning the chorus like she always does. M Revolution starts like this. And Jill going like... The lighting makes Fuki look like a divine rock star once again, a goddess. 
and M Anthem, which is my favorite song according to Spotify. The video quality on this music video is insane. Fuki now embodying all synonyms of beautiful, all leading to this chorus. It's 100% because of Fuki, who performs like a member of the Einer in collaborative symphony under Iwu Iluvatar of Tolkien Legendarium, with a technical proficiency and competent band of the style to serve as her bed of music to chorus over. She captured me in Doll's box with those lungs and those powerful vibratos. I even bought their CD. I love her vocal style, her entire aesthetic, and a good amount of unlucky Morpheus songs to be a fan of the band, but it's 100% again because of Fuki. But in their discography, they have one song called Cadaver Revedak. A song that goes forward, and then Fuki sings. A miracle is coming. Time is coming back. And then they play it again, but the entire composition is in reverse. The lyrics themselves are inverted in theme, a story of turning human ashes into diamonds, and then a fantasy about bringing humans back from diamonds, the first line in Revedak being a German phrase in reverse, from the ashes to diamonds. So, respect. But look at Fuki.